much clutter. It's told that Brutus was a man of stature, the warden of Axiom Prison, a man cursed by a twisted enchantment of his own commission. If there's a grain of truth to the tale, then Brutus has my pity. Have this. It may be of some help. Be careful.
God bless you on this fine day, Exile. Care for another dance with Lady Sin, Crusader? Sadly, this holy site has fallen to the corrupted already. It's our duty to put the poor, bastard place out of its misery. The corrupted draw strength from twisted spots like this, you see. Can't be having that now. So lay about you, Exile, and quickly now. Let's Nightmare sense our cause and choose to tighten its grip on this place. We've done the faith proud today, Crusader. An exile here. A shame the Warden won't leave anything for me to examine. Make sure you tell our host that piety of Theophilus. Still the Kaurui barbarians advance from the south. Lion Eye is dead, his legion slaughtered. Should the need arise, we shall retreat through prisoner's gate, raising my barricade behind us. But our lord Brutus nears readiness. Foul times demand heroism. The warden will serve as our savior. May he crush the Kaurui into the sand with the mighty fists I shall gift to.
ready and not before. My creation, brute, you'd not have fallen so easily. Dare Chevron. You have certainly had your work cut out for you with Lion Eyes Legion. Do not concern yourself with Marseilles' complaints. Our Emperor is fully aware of the General's fickle nature. As to your need to accelerate the implantation process, I can recommend a quite simple alteration. Dip the gem in a boiling solution of six parts blood and one part thormetic sulfite for no more than 13 seconds. Any longer, and you invite the crystal's wrath. Once the gem is withdrawn from the solution, you have but a few seconds to install the gem in the prepared flash and close the wound. Should the gem cool too much prior to implantation, it will become inert, and you're patient with it. Trust in that bountiful talent of yours, Sharon. My thoughts are with you. Malachi. Some, death is welcomed with open arms. Did you end Brutus' suffering out of avarice or mercy? Only you know the answer to that one. Is it choice that carries you here, or is it fate? I see a need in you. A need to peer into your future. A need to follow the right path. But your future has already been cast. So open your mind and embrace it. Long ago, my people called me a Hatungo, a wise woman. Now they call me a Revenant. But it is not my fate to return to the Mother of Death just yet. For now, I stand with one foot in this world and the other foot in the realm of the dead. I'm an inquirer of the living and an interpreter of death. I sense you have questions. For a gift of silver, I will answer them. But you seek more than answers. Riches. Power. These I can also provide, in a way. All you have to do is join me. Heed my words, but walk your path. The future is mine to tell but yours to claim. It is time to fulfill your prophecy. I traveled here through death's darkened halls, walking the paths of the remembered. I am but a memory of the woman I was, a memory treasured and sustained by the mother of death. I awoke in the halls of death, with the life I once led, little more than a dream half-remembered. 
Yama the White, my furry companion, stood before me with the seeing stone he holds now. Both were given a hair of Hinekora's dark knowledge, but each serves a separate purpose. The seeing stone drags me deep into its core, where every instant into eternity is known all at once, like limitless rings on a tree trunk. Yama, like a torch in the mist, guides me back from the stone's infinite visions. Hinekora, my mother of death, is not the only god, Exile. The Karui are watched over by many. Namahu lends us fire, which illuminates the path. Tafua gives us the trees and birds that line the path, so that we may enjoy beauty and peace. Tukohama provides us with weapons and knowledge of war, which lets us walk the path safely. And in the final days of this world, Kitava, whose hunger knows no bounds, will take it all away. Blue tendrils entangle and change. All that remains is gold. Let me tell your future. They run, they bite, they flee, they die. Swarms of fur and teeth and tail drown each and every room. The Warden's finally free of his own prison. Well, since you're so bloody determined to cheat the britches off death, you'd better have this. And when they write the song about you, just be sure to mention that it was Tarkley who taught you everything you know. I've but one purpose in life now. Defend the last vestiges of faith in this godforsaken land. Well, can't be completely godforsaken. He sent you and me here, didn't he? Now, I have a few trinkets lying about that might be of use to you. Adornments imbued with what little faith I can muster in this accursed place. That said, the more corruption we smite, the more faithful I'm likely to be feeling. I can make some damn fine baubles when my divine ire is up. In the meantime, let me know if any of my current pieces catch your eye. Ah, God has delivered you to me, and as always, his timing is divine. I've just put the finishing touches on a few baubles. Dripping with faith they are, brimful. Have a wee look and let me know what you think. Hello. 